Hey YouTube, it's Maya, and today I'm gonna show you my wash and go routine. <gasps> I'm just kidding. Okay, you guys, to start off when I wash, I'm gonna wet my hair completely and I'm gonna start the shampoo. And today I'm gonna be using Tresemme Luxurious Moisture. Also, for my conditioner, I'll be using Tresemme Advanced Technology luxurious moisture both of these have vitamin E so that's great so I'm gonna shampoo and rinse and condition and rinse I plan on giving further details on my wash routine so stay tuned for the wash the day video okay so now we're back this is kind of like a, a quick lightweight thing take my little bum buns down drop that bun I need to stop making that joke. And my hair isn't completely wet as it was when I stepped out of the shower. I prefer to have mine fresh out of the shower. So if it's dried, I'll just spritz it to refresh it. So I spritz all over. Some people like to add their conditioner on drier hair, but I prefer to have it slightly damp. Okay, so as you can see, my hair is wet. It's just wet. It's still dripping. You can do this if you dry it off a little bit, but I feel like I, my curls are more defined if I do it when it's a bit wetter. But I've done it all kinds of ways. So first, I'm gonna be using Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream with Shea Butter. And if you want, that's for my leave-in conditioner, that's my staple product. If you want, um, you can add some oil to it, but that's your preference. So my hair is wet and I'm gonna start, so. Again, if you're having trouble like a detangling, just grab a detangling spray. Nothing in particular. I do have Lusty Organics this time with olive oil spray detangler, but so I'm gonna use some the conditioner. It's leaving conditioner once again. So you see that consistency? Yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> y'all have seen this. Y'all probably already use this. Like it's not even gonna matter. Okay, so I always start around my edges. I'm gonna get this going. To be right. Half the time they're out of control because they just like to curl up, but whatever. We're we gonna try today. I'm rambling. I should probably just turn this into a voiceover. Okay, to make it easier. I like to separate my hair in two sections just like when I was washing because it feels like you don't have as much to do, but that's just me. <laughs> okay, when I hit my ends, if you're using the oil, I will get some conditioner and add the oil with that conditioner. If it wants to run down here for me, come tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Rub it together, grab my ends, and just start working that in there like this. And I'll try to make sure I really get it in the ends because they need a little bit more attention sometimes. I like to pay my ends a little bit extra attention because that hair has been around the longest and it's been through the most, so why not? starting to dry a little bit and this is after I add my conditioner and everything so I'm gonna do the other side real quick okay so really quick before my battery dies I just finished putting all this in my hair everywhere these two um, now I'm gonna use one of these two gels. Oh. Garnier Fructis Curl and Shape. It's the Defining Spray Gel. You can spritz this one on, or you can um, use Garnier Fructis, the Curl Sculpt Conditioning Cream Gel. Um, this one is better hold, but this one, you know, it's kind of like, oh, let me throw some on real quick. I don't know. They both smell really good. Um, I use a little bit of this. You can spray this in your hand. Sometimes I use this one and then throw a little bit of the other one on. Then I just use this as a base. I'm talking really fast. Okay. So I just do this. So that whichever way I wanted my hair to go, I flung it to the side because I don't want the middle part today. 
and I just put a little bit of this where I want my hair to go in the direction I want it to go might scrunch a little bit but I don't usually do that anymore for a while I was doing that at the end of my um, wash and go I would but you can get a little bit of this gel I try to do a little bit of my edges there it's not it's not doing what I wanted to do but we'll just keep moving around so I'm, I'm gonna scrunch this to see what it does just this little piece right here we'll see but yeah so basically this is what I do for my wash and go um, I just use that leave-in conditioner and then I throw on some gel around my edges if they're not acting right but a lot of times this will handle my edges like so I'll just leave them curly but if I'm trying to lay them down a little bit I'll throw a little bit of gel up there a lot of people use Eco Styler of course but um, I've been using Garnier for a while and I just like how it smells I don't, I don't know I like it it doesn't flake on me so that's cool and here's one more gel if you don't use either one of these I know this is for little girls but I use just for me when I was a little girl so I came back to reclaim my name so I use just for me soft and beautiful smoothing gel for a while too this doesn't flake on me either but yeah it depends on your hair type and it, your preference really but yeah this is how it came out just say wash and go I can flip the side if I want, but this is how it comes out usually. I could put a little bit more conditioner in if, I, if it's not as defined as I want it, but this isn't bad at all, I guess. And this is my watch and go. Thanks for watching. You comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try this method. Let me know how it works for you. And um, just thumbs up if you like. So this is my watch and go. <laughs> Bye.